Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to One Season Wonder with Shakhtar and you can see we're in the Europa League final. Um, yeah, let's talk you through how we got here uh, and update you on something that happened that I had to kind of mess about with the game with a bit but we're all good. But let's jump into the matches we've played and see how we got on. So after getting through the Barcelona game, we did play the next game in the league uh, and it was a 2-0 win. Quite comfortable, two goals in quick succession, a header and a penalty to win the game. Another 2-0 win in the league in the next game, starting off with a penalty this time uh, and the second goal came later on in the 78th minute. Just to wrap things up a little bit, Marlos playing the ball through to Conor Plianka, who was able to fire towards the bottom left-hand corner. Florian Koeman scored the only goal in the next game to make us win 1-0 and it was quite a tidy little goal, a nice weaving run and finished off with a tidy, tidy shot. We then had a 0-0 draw with AC Milan in the semi-finals of the Europa League at home. Wasn't the best result but it wasn't too bad considering they were very much on top during the game and we didn't have too many chances. We were back in the league for the next match and we won the game within the first 15 minutes Scoring from the penalty spot in the first minute. In the 10th minute, getting a second to kind of give us that cushion. Marcus Asensio coming from the edge of the box, playing it through to Mudrick, who was able to get it past the goalkeeper, who should have probably done a bit better. And then four minutes later, we finished things up with a third goal. Marquinhos Cipriano out on this left-hand side due to injury to Isoli. Um, Marcus Asensio scoring an absolute worldie. We then had the return leg against AC Milan and we did end up winning things on aggregate. The um, goal scored initially by us to make things 1-0. Um, Marlos with that effort. They did score very late on, but because we scored our away goal, we got the aggregate score that we needed to put us through to the next round. It wasn't a bad finish either by Kalinoglu. And having booked our place into the Europa League final, we did have our other cup final to worry about, the Ukraine Cup final. And we went 1-0 down reasonably early on in the first half. Uh, we did manage to return the favour in the 72nd minute with Tete getting a goal to level things. It did take its extra time, however. Uh, that is when we turned on up the gears and we caused real issues for them scoring an extra five goals gonna play anchor initially playing it through to tyson to get the initial lead straight away as soon as the extra time started and as i said we we continued from there tyson absolutely dominating the game again winning it off the defender who's held on to it just too long to allow him to nick it off him and pop it away in the 99th minute and then once again, this time in the second half of extra time, Marquinhos Cipriano was able to get down the left-hand side, cross the ball in, and this time Mykon's initial shot was saved and Tyson finished things up for his hat-trick of the game. Uh, and then finally, on the 120th minute, we've got the fifth and final goal with Tete playing it through to Tyson again, but this time it was blocked and Mykon got the rebound for that one. And finally, a rotated squad won our last game of the season 1-0 with Malyshev scoring from the spot. And there we are. So that is how we got to the final of the Europa League. As I said, we've won the league very comfortably in the end. Uh, we won it a few with like three or four games left of the season, which was very nice. Uh, and we also won the Ukrainian Cup final 5-1 in the end, although we made it a little bit harder for ourselves. Um, yeah, the problem we had was the fact that as you saw in the last episode, we actually won the game 3-0 against Barcelona. I had a power cut just after I finished recording. And as the game hadn't saved yet, I had to redo that game. So I redid it. We did win 1-0. So it got us through to the next round. And we were able to, from there, go forward, which was great. But um, not quite the result we had. So it wasn't quite as impressive. But um, a win's a win. And we're in the final playing PSG today. It's going to be tough. I, I'll i be honest, I'm not sure we're going to win this. Um, we actually lost to them uh, in a friendly, I believe, at the beginning of the season. Yeah, 5-0. So if that's anything to go by, hopefully it's not. But if it is, we're going to get absolutely whooped today. But we've done very well anyway, so just put that in there. Um, this is the lineup we're going for. Trubin in goal, Dodo, Chris Dov and Bondar at the back with Ismaili at left back. Uh, Marcus Antonio in the holding with Stepanenko and Mike on ahead of him. Marlos, Tyson and Konoplyanka up top. And then we've got a full bench 
Um, Alan Patrick and Kornienko are still injured and have been for a long time. So we've, we're going to miss them a little bit, but I think we've got enough on the bench to maybe do something if we're going to do anything. But let's jump into the game and take a look and see if we can get another trophy. Can we make it four trophies for the season? I mean, I think that might be the best haul I've ever had if we do. Um, but we'll see. We're sticking with the 4-3-3 with the shadow striker rather than the natural forward with Tyson in the middle there, who's been very, very good this season. And you can see there what a team. Luckily, they don't have Messi yet. Um, because this is obviously from the original base game. So no changes or modifications have been made to the database. But yeah, um, they've still got the likes of Neymar and Mbappe. So that'll be a challenge nonetheless. But we've got a goal kick early on. Hopefully this is a sign of us being able to keep the ball against PSG. Um, True been playing it short. He does go longer there. Uh, Mycon not quite able to get onto that. And they're now coming forward. Neymar into Icardi. Is he going to get shot away? He plays it through to Mbappe, who's undoubtedly going to get a cross in um, if he does. Or get, we're going to give away a penalty? Maybe not. I thought that was going to be a penalty straight away, but it looks like we might be able to break here. Mycon coming down this side, plays it straight through to Tyson. Can Tyson finish this off? He does! Oh my god, first five minutes and we've just bagged a goal. Tyson saying his goodbyes to the Shakhtar fans as he moves back to Sao Paulo in Brazil. Um, but hey, if he can win us a Euro <laughs> Euros, European Cup, that would not be bad at all. Um, Europa League. I, why couldn't I say that? And we go again. A free kick deep for by Christoph. It comes straight to And Herrera. So not a great free kick, really. Um, we are pressing Mbappe, but he's got he's absolutely rapid. But we've, we've kept in line with him. The ball comes across. It's a great save in the end. We probably should have done a bit better with how we defended that. But Conor Plianka manages to flick it away. Uh, and it, it does end the highlight there. We've had one shot and one shot on target in the first 20 minutes. They've had five with three on target. So I think that kind of shows how the game's probably going to go. Um, with Neymar, a throw-in going straight over the top. I mean, he's going to score, surely. No, not the first time. But Icardi was there for the second rebound. And he tucks it away to level things very quickly. And it's 21 minutes in, one all. Neymar now with a free kick. Only a minute later, it is headed clear, uh, but doesn't look like we've got anyone around to really put pressure on Marquinhos for that ball. Um, we Conor Blanc is now caught up to him. Uh, we are now looking to press a bit more, but Kimpembe has managed to play Neymar through. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Good save, Trubin. He's kept us in it. It's one all still. Ah, so we've got a corner now. 35 minutes in. Can we make anything of it? No. No one... It doesn't even look like anyone was in the box for that. That was, like, completely pointless. But Tyson's still got it. He's he's going on a mazy run. He, he does these quite often. He's got the dribbling ability to do so. Um, manages to keep hold of it for so long. And he's got all the way to the... I mean, it did look a bit harsh. I don't think it will be a penalty. But he is being listened to, at least. Um... Is it going to be... It's a... It's a penalty. I have no idea how we've just got given that. But um, once again, Tyson's creating havoc to allow us to get a penalty and a chance to go back in the league. Can Marlos take it for us from the spot? He does. He t it wasn't the best penalty, but it was enough to get us the goal. Tenth goal of the season. Ooh, this, this We could do this. Mbappe is now coming forward on this right-hand side as it was played out to him. Can he score to make things level? He does just before half-time. Oh, talk about a quick response. They were able to get a goal to level things up going into half-time. It's not something I'm too worried about. I mean, it, it just shows we've we've got something about us against them. Um, but the ball out wide and Mbappe was just able to run all the way through without any contest and slide it home. Okay, second half underway. We've brought Malishev on. Um, he's sitting in the midfield now and Stepanenko has dropped back one. S see if that does anything, changes kind of how we're playing or, or we're able to keep hold of the ball. It wasn't a great performance otherwise, so that's why they came off. Um, a ball long to by Kimpembe. Christoph does win the header, but it's come back to Mbappe, who is absolutely running us ragged down that left-hand side. He's all the way through. Dodo's able to clear it, but um, it's not looking great, is it? <laughs> I wasn't even vocal for that one. I thought it was just going to be a normal corner. I mean, I think I was hoping more than anything. But there it is. There's Kimbembe's header. It makes it 3-2. Oh, it's a goal-scoring bonanza. But 
not in the way we hoped. A good header has made it 3-2. Coming forward again on this left-hand side, but we are able to cut it out. Marlos, let's see if he can make something happen. Ball's played in, Kazawa cuts it out, and they're going to come forward again. A ball over the top, Icardi is there. He's running through on goal and finishes with a plum. I, I'm a bit annoyed that PSG are even in the Europa League, I'll be honest. Um, I don't think that's really how it would happen. Since when would I want to know where PSG finished in the Champions League group and who was above them to put them in the Europa League? Because that's ridiculous. But there you go. Um, oh, this could be an absolute battering at this point if we don't do something. I I don't really know what to do though because we've just not got anything to give. Uh, Mudrick, you can come on for Conor Plianka. Marlos hasn't done enough. Let's bring Tete on there. That's all our subs made. Hopefully they can do something. Um, but not banking on anything as they get another corner. Sarabia this time crosses it in, and there's another goal. Leandro Paredes getting the goal. How is that possible? He's tiny. But he's beating our guys in the air, and um, that's 5-2. It's not the best final to be showing you guys. Um, I'd just like to point out, they've just brought on a 16-year-old right back. I think they're taking the piss, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> We're losing 5 2 and they're taking the piss out of us because of that. Great. Wonderful. Well, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch them lift the trophy. I'm gutted. Um, <laughs> but we've had a good year. Other than losing the final, getting to the final is pretty good. And obviously, otherwise, we've not done too badly. I've also won the um, coach of the year for the Ukrainian League. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But let's jump ahead now and take a look at the kind of competition overview and we'll see how we got on in comparison to Shakhtar in real life. So here we are. This is the 2020 review. You can see there are three trophies. Not bad going, I have to say, and certainly better than what Shakhtar did in real life. Um, I'll get this up on my other screen so we can take a look at what how they did. But we can see here, we did only bring in Florin or Komen. Um, he did okay. Nothing spectacular. They were reasonably pleased for, about it um, and how that went. Sales-wise, we sold a few players, but no one really of name. Um, Dentinio is probably the biggest name that went out during the season, um, but that was fine. And then there's loads of loans out, but again, I didn't really have much to do with that. Uh, but let's take a look at the league. So as you can see on the screen, we did do better than Shakhtar in the league. Um, Shakhtar finished second overall, whereas we topped the league and won it, which is very, very good. Um, the board are pleased. We've only got 27% attendance, which is a bit gutting, but I mean, I'm sure in long-term says you could probably get that up quite comfortably, especially if you, I'm getting to the Europa League final in the first season. I'm sure you can do all right as well. Um, but we finished above Dynamo um, as in real life, they didn't, uh, and then pretty much the same going down, but Dnipro is obviously in there instead um, of Volskla, uh, who's actually in eighth. But that's a win in my book. Um, European Champions League. So we finished third, which is exactly what they did as well um, in real life. Uh, we got better points um, and a better goal difference. So I don't know if that counts for anything, um, but we matched them. Um, but also did better than them. Let's just say that. Um, Europa League, though, that's what we're really interested in. Uh, as, yeah, we got to the final. Unfortunately, we lost to PSG in the end. But um, they only got to the last 16. So they only got through to the round where we played Atalanta. Um, whereas, yeah, we managed to get through all of them. I don't know why it says that we won 3-1 away to Atalanta. Because um, we didn't. We lost 3-1. But we only got through because of the extra goal. But hey ho, either way, you see, you can see on screen that Roma was the stumbling block in real life. Um, the Ukrainian Cup, we obviously won that as well, which is great. Um, they didn't do quite so well getting knocked out in the quarterfinals, uh, one nil at extra time. So yeah, I think we did a bit better than that considering we won it. So I'm pretty happy with that, I have to say. And then the Ukrainian Super Cup as well, you can see on screen, we did better than they did. Uh, they lost 3-1 to Dynamo Kiev. We won 3-0. So 
I have to say we've absolutely smashed real life Shakhtar uh, in regards to that. Uh, a 5-1 win against Mariupol was our biggest win. Match to remember was the loss to Atalanta, which is weird, but we got through to the next round, which is why. Um, and the goal of the season goes to Alan Patrick with a great strike from the edge of the box. So next up is the kind of money side of things. Um, you can see Junior Marais, who didn't really play this season, has got the most shirts sold, which is interesting. Uh, Tyson, Konoplyanka, Marlos and Tete all getting up there as well. Uh, lineup, yeah, as you can see, this is the lineup we mainly went for. Ismaili, when he got back from injury, was crucial. At left back, Bondar and Christoph was in the team of the season, along with Dodo uh, and Mykon as well, in fact. Uh, Trubin in goal. Marcus Antonio and Alan Patrick was very good. Uh, Stepanenko not being in there is a bit of a surprise, to be honest. Uh, he could have easily fitted in there. Komen on the left-hand side, so the new signing, which is nice, uh, shows that he was worth something, um, bringing him in. Tyson in the middle, who's fantastic this year, and Marlos as well on the right-hand side. Uh, accolades, as you can see, we won the coach of the season, which is obviously very, very nice to see. Fans player was Kristoff at centre-half. Young player was Bondart, the other centre-half, so that's good. A nice partnership going forward. A signing of the season, obviously, Komen, because... Well, we didn't sign anyone else. Goal of the season, Anna Patrick, as we saw. Top goal scorer, assists, was Marcus Antonio, 10. You can see there as well. And then obviously loads of records broken because it's the first season we had. Um, Ukrainian young player of the season was Marcus Antonio. Uh, and he got midfielder of the season. So that's pretty good going long-term wise. Defend... Defender of the season was Christoph and Trubin got goalkeeper of the season, which is interesting considering he didn't start as our main goalkeeper. Um, but there you have it. Three trophies, Ukrainian Premier League, Ukrainian Cup and Ukrainian Super Cup. Um, I'm very happy about that. We won everything domestically. So that's very, very positive. Um, what we'll now do is take a quick look at the um, goal scored and how that compares to Shakhtar in real life. I think we've we've done a little bit better than they had um, with their goal scorers. So I've popped it up on the screen now, um, as you can see with the goals. Uh, Manuel Solomon was, in fact, uh, their top goal scorer, who barely played for us. He played 16 games overall. You might not be able to quite see his name, but um, here he is, 16 games, and he only scored one goal. In real life, he scored 11. So it's kind of that match up we've we've obviously decided a different way of playing Junior Marais got nine goals who sold all those shirts <laughs> um but yeah again he didn't play too many for us uh I say too many he started six games and scored three goals so I mean it's not bad turnaround but nothing spectacular Tete then was third who's probably the one that's closest at the moment uh with Five goals on our game and five goals in real life. So that matched up very well. Kovalenko, who actually got injured, I believe, um, halfway through the sing season. Or did we do we even have Kovalenko in our team? No, I was thinking of Kornienko. Well, we haven't got Kovalenko, so I don't know who that is. Um, Dentino was sold. Um, Tyson is there, but he only got two goals. Whereas in our game, he got 14 and three assists as well. Um, and then you've got Stepanenko with two goals, uh, Mykon with two and Marlos with two. Whereas you can see here, Marlos got 10, Mykon got eight. Uh, and where's Stepanenko? Is he on here? He's down here and he got two as well. Um, so he matched it. But it just shows we got a lot better out of the players. And that's why we won all those competitions. So ultimately, a very good result. But I hope you did enjoy. Um, I thought this was a very successful one. Uh, it's probably the best I've ever done in the first season with any club. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know who you think we should do next or in future One Season Wonders before FM22. And I will catch you next time.